Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts. And one of the questions I get asked quite regularly is, does my loft need planning permission? Now, it's not as simple as that. So in the UK, there's a lot of properties have something called permitted development. Now, naturally, a lot of loft conversions would fall under permitted development. So what permitted, I can't even say it. Uh, what permitted development is, is effectively it gives you the right to add a certain square meterage onto your property without needing permission as such. Now there is a few caveats to that. So with regards to the aesthetics and stuff like that, it has to be in keeping with the house. Um, so I, if you put a dormer on there and if you wanted the more modern cladding that we do on a lot of our projects, we then basically would apply for um, permitted development for the loft element and then planning permission just purely for the material change of the dormer. Um, now, in some areas in the UK and some houses, you have conservation areas and as well as your permit development rights are attracted. So a lot of these new housing estates at the moment are being built and you, they're removing the permit development rights on that. Now, the reason they're doing that is to not overdevelop the area. Now, so what that then means is you would then form, you'd forfeit back into having to apply for planning permission. It's not a given that you wouldn't get, you'd get refused or anything, but it just means there's a little bit more of a step that has to be done with it. On the subject of new build houses, there is another thing now what a lot of developers are doing. They have a caveat in the deeds that basically for the first five years of the property, if not longer in some scenarios, you have to seek permission from Taylor Wimpy, for example, or the likes of the contractor. So that same thing again, you can't overdevelop the, ha the area in the house because they're still building on the site. They don't want you to basically make the house look worse or turn off buyers from buying another house on the estate and stuff like that. So it's something certainly worth checking. That's become a lot more regular in recent years um, with new builds. Now, planning permission is pretty much straightforward as long as you've got a decent architect that will help and liaise with you there. Conservation areas are a little bit more complicated because you're not allowed massive amounts of dormers and stuff like that. Traditionally, it would be a small dormer, something like 1.2 wide, finished in lead and stuff like that um, on a conservation area. Planning permission, um, if I'm being brutally honest, they're not a fan of dormers. With VLUX conversions, it's pretty straightforward dormers aesthetically and i get it they don't look the best sometimes um so whereas if you can imagine the reason we don't just go straight in for planning when we've got permit development is because what they can do is retract your permit development rights so say you put a loft conversion in um, but you've got permit development rights what they could then do is refuse the permission for the dormer and remove your permit development rights and so not enabling you to do the loft conversion so what we try to do is do it the opposite way around or we run two schemes back to back in the sense of we'll put a permit development in for the loft and then we'll then put in planning permission for the material change rather than doing Doing it the other way around so that we've got what we call a fallback position so if there is an issue that worst case the client can't get the desired finish off the dormer but we can still give them the option um i appreciate that's pretty lengthy um worth taking a look at some of your local council websites as well some of them in certain areas do have a map of conservation areas as well as what permit development rights and stuff like that but naturally if you speak to a local um planning officer or even um, a decent architect they would be able to tell you pretty quickly whether your permit developments are right um, are intact one thing worth noting though on permit developments so you can do something called an LDC, which is called a Lawful Development Certificate. Now on all our loft conversions, as much as we take it that is permitted development, we apply for this LDC, a Lawful Development Certificate. And what that does is it's basically get a headed piece of paper from the council reinforcing, yep, your permit development rights are intact. The proposed um, images and the proposed design that you're doing on your plans um, fall under permit development so there is no issue so i think it's roughly around 100 pounds um, sometimes can take six to eight weeks in its own right um, so similar time frame to planning but for me it's a no-brainer for that minimal cost to avoid any headaches at a later date when it comes to um moving and solicitors and stuff like that it's a no-brainer for the sake of 100 pound on a 40 grand build yeah it's a, it's a given you have to do it for me um but yeah hopefully that's informative hopefully that wasn't too much information to to throw at you like i say reach out to local architects that know the area that's a win-win scenario um because not only will they help you on the permission side of things but naturally they should be able to help design a decent sized loft for you um, and like i say we're in a new build estate at the moment this one did have a caveat so we've had to apply or well, the clients had to apply directly to the developer um but this one all fell under permit development we've got no dormant on this one but then naturally this one that we've done that has got a dormer at the back come under permit development but we applied for planning permission just for the cladding to go on it so we put the hardy plane cladding on this one um, 
the grey cladding that you'll see on a lot of our work, um, that had to have planning permission just purely for the cladding. Not the loft itself, but purely the cladding. But yeah, take a look at some of our videos. Um, hopefully you find it useful information and we'll see you again soon. Enjoy.